The future of transport, luckily, looks very different than today. Implementation of new technologies no longer require the vast burning of fossil fuel to get you to a desired destination. With Future Transport, you can get there a lot faster and cheaper. Imagine a world without pollution and noise from traffic. This world is brought to you by the fifth mode of transport called Evacuated Tube Travel Technology or ET3 in short. ET3 is poised to reach speeds of, yes, 6,500 km per hour. There are several possible applications for ET3. Uh, most important at the beginning when ET3 system is implemented is uh, transporting cargo. It is also the most profitable one. Uh, so for the first year of operation, we plan to transport only cargo. The reason for that is that we need to acquire experience uh, in uh, operating the system. We, need, we must be sure that everything operates according to expect our expectations and uh, therefore we want to first year to transport only cargo. As soon as we are through this uh, milestone, then we can start transporting passengers. Uh, also, uh, it is possible to transport not only passengers but also utilities, such as, for instance, electricity, water, sewage, uh, broadband information, uh, internet uh, services, provide internet services, and so on. So, ET3 has enormous uh, potential to be uh, to replace not only uh, known modes of uh, transportation, such as uh, car, airplane, uh, and train but it also has possibility to replace what, uh, what we are used to consider as utilities. These all services, they can be provided by ET3. Uh, some people confuse uh, ET3 with uh, Hyperloop. Hyperloop is actually a very different concept. It is more mechanical. ET3 is not a mechanical system at all. ET3 is much better technology. And in fact, if you look careful, the only conclusion you can draw that future of the transport is with ET3. Uh, next question you may have uh, is that uh, how do we build ET3 actually? ET3 is open consortium. It means uh, there is a global alliance that is situated in America and uh, uh, this uh, company supervises uh, building of ET3 system globally. On a national level, uh, it is a consortium who will build ET3. It's not a global alliance, but a consortium, national consortium, where Alstom and Siemens and other big companies, whoever wants to, they can enter this consortium because it is an open consortium, so say so. Anybody who wants to participate in building ET3 can do so. That is a very important distinction as compared to other known uh, structures that do that. Okay, so evacuated uh, tube transport uh, technologies, they include uh, naturally a tube where the capsule uh, flies, basically. Uh, there is vacuum, so air from the tube is removed. And then there is magnetic levitation that keeps the capsule from, the, from touching the tube. That magnetic levitation requires superconductivity. Superconductivity requires cooling. Cooling means cryogenics and vacuum. I am expert in these uh, basic fields to evacuate the tube transport technology for already 40 years. And the only conclusion I can draw is that it is feasible technology. It is possible to do. The only thing that is required is that some decision makers will say, yes, we believe in this technology, let's do it. Let's dare, let's take a chance and let's do it. This is, these are people uh, that we are looking for. In the coming decades, an access portal will be built near to you and connect you with shopping malls, supermarkets, towns, beaches and tourist destinations all over the planet in one go. No more transfers. No more transfers. On the left, you see the tubes with uninterrupted traffic flowing at the design speed continuously and without fossil fuel. This is the ET3 frictionless limousine that floats on magnetic levitation. Magnetic levitation, or maglev in short, truly is the technology of the future and has already been used for decades effectively and safe.
entering the evacuated tube system that allows for frictionless travel happens through an airlock. So ET3 technology is really the future. It is also a much cheaper technology as compared to high-speed rail, for instance. It costs about one-tenth of that. Uh, also, if you compare uh, to building a road for a car, ET3 technology is one-fifth to one-tenth of the cost. Why it is so? Uh, the reason is, the explanation is, that uh, ET3 has very great capacity, that is many, many times more than uh, high-speed rail or car. Just to give you an example, nowadays a trip uh, from uh, Amsterdam to Rotterdam with the first uh, class uh, train costs uh, you 41 minutes and 25 euros. If uh, ET3 between these cities will be built, it will cost you uh, 5 minutes uh, to ride and 5 euros. So it's one-fifth of the cost and one-fifth of the time. Uh, the capacity is really very great because one ET3 tube can transport up to 100,000 passengers an hour. Just to give you an example, we are now at Rotterdam station and this station handles 110,000 passengers a day. So one ET3 tube allows you to transport uh, 10 times more passengers than this uh, whole Rotterdam central station, renewing of which uh, costed 500 million euros. Uh, furthermore, in the future, it is possible to transport uh, utilities. Uh, uh, we are thinking that when it is three system will be built in the Netherlands, uh, it will be a network of uh, tubes of about 3,000 kilometers long. Uh, building of such a network will take probably some 10 years and will cost uh, 10 billion uh, euros. This is still much uh, smaller amount if you would build uh, uh, high-speed rail of the same uh, length. Uh, when it will be built, uh, such system, it will allow to transport uh, many more passengers and with much uh, greater speed. Uh, because for national level, as you know, the, uh, the speed of 83 capsules will be 600 kilometers an hour, meaning that you can cover 10 uh, kilometers in one minute. It also means that uh, 83 uh, trip will almost never last more than a half an hour in the Netherlands. Also important point is that uh, you travel like in your car. It's not a, ET3 is not a train, so you travel from A to B non-stop and there will be no fillers. Uh, uh, this is provided by automatic uh, control of the capsules and uh, we are absolutely sure, because of the greater capacity of ET3, this system will become superior as compared to other known modes uh, of transportation. Uh, many nations uh, are nowadays investing in wind energy. Wind energy indeed is a sustainable technology. It doesn't require fuel uh, to produce electricity. However, we calculated that if uh, ET3 system will replace existing modes of transport, it will save three to five times more uh, CO2 emissions as compared to uh, wind parks that will be built uh, for the same money. So ET3 technology allows you with less money to achieve uh, CO2 goals much faster and much more efficient way. Besides, uh, wind parks are only good to producing electricity. ET3 is saving CO2, but at the same time, it is not the primary goal. The primary goal is to, trans to transport cargo, to transport passengers, to transport uh, utilities, uh, to provide you with uh, broader band uh, internet uh, services, and so on and so on. As compared to a train, uh, ET3 has much uh, better granularity. It means that in the future you can place uh, ET3 stations, or ET3 access portals, as they called, much closer to where you live. Uh, we foresee that the distance uh, from your house will be no, no more than uh, 5 kilometers to nearest ET3 station in the near future. It means that in the future you will have to do the first and the last mile, or maybe uh, 3 to 5 kilometers distance with electrical car, and then you are at the ET3 portal, and then you can move with this enormous speed to any desti destination you like. 
One of the remarkable things about the ETS-3 is vehicle uh, switching. It means when you're in a capsule, you can decide where you want to go. If you want to go in a direction A, then you go there. If you change your mind and you want to go into direction C, then to a certain moment you can take that decision, you press the button and you go to C instead of A. That means uh, you're operating in a way how internet works. So packaging, switching, and no uh, switching as with trains. It's a different concept and it's revolutionary. It provides enormous capacity of ET3 uh, network. If you want to participate in ET3, you can buy a license. It's available on our website. And then you're a member of a team. At the present, ET3 consortium uh, includes uh, 343 licensees. And those are people who are primarily busy developing ET3 anywhere in the world. In fact, such a system can be started up anywhere in the world. It can be in India, it can be in America, in Japan, in China, in Europe, anywhere. Which means uh, uh, that uh, you can join the efforts uh, of, of the team right now. Uh, at present, uh, there are several steps already taken in developing demonst uh, various demonstrations. And so far they are very successful, so we are looking uh, forward uh, with a great uh, confidence uh, on that. Uh, when this uh, system is uh, built on a national level, uh, then the next uh, uh, phase of efforts will come to connect uh, national ET3 networks with the backbone. As you already know, the backbone will be developed for much higher, much greater speeds, up to 6,000 kilometers an hour. Uh, this requires a much greater level of precision and also a much greater level of confidence. But uh, our studies show that it is possible to reach these speeds and we are thinking now even reaching higher speeds than that. Uh, you know how much uh, noise produces airplane moving with a thousand kilometers an hour. At 6,000 kilometers an hour, ET3 capsule will make no noise because it's moving in vacuum, in absolute silence. So it is very comfortable. This is why we call it uh, uh, first class of comfort that you will be experiencing with that. We invite public debate about halting further investments in expensive rail, asphalt and even overhead lines to establish how ET3 can transport cargo, passengers and utilities much more effectively. Is ET3 technology is a high-tech? Yes, it is at the moment a high-tech. Is it a cutting edge of high-tech? No, it's not. It's pretty simple. Uh, when you look as a scientist at it, I would say it's uh, pretty simple. That gives the confidence that such a system can be built. Next question is, is this technology exclusively for rich countries? Again, no. Any country, even a poor country, can have it. Why? Because otherwise it has to invest in much more expensive high-speed rail or building autobahns for cars. Uh, instead, we are proposing that uh, even poor nation will invest in ET3 because it's cheaper, more efficient technology, higher capacity, safer, 
faster so you will reach the same goal much faster uh, another thing is that it is three technology has potential to replace all infrastructural utilities that you see around yourself. So there will be no need for infrastructure that delivers to your house electricity, that delivers water to your house, that takes sewage and take garbage from your, this is from your house. This all can be done by one uh, unified and standardized system, which is ET3. So this is how we see uh, it will evolve in the future. And all this can be delivered uh, for the price of monthly subscription for internet and mobile uh, services. One reason why ET3 uh, got my personal attention is that uh, we all are thinking uh, what the uh, future will bring to us. And when you think about transport, the only conclusion I can come up with is that future is with ET3. Uh, to my opinion, trains will gradually disappear because ET3 will take over. The cars uh, will be limited in range, up to maybe 50 kilometers or so. Why? Because it will be more convenient, cheaper, faster, safer, environmentally friendly, and so on and so on, to go with ET3. If you have your car, if you are attached to it, you can go with your car, but you be aware it will be a much more expensive uh, trip and it will take more time. Airplanes will gradually disappear as well. They will be still there for some things that are difficult for ET3, for instance, uh, crossing the oceans and things like that. But uh, gradually we'll learn also how to build ET3 tubes uh, under the ocean, uh, in the ocean. Because uh, connecting America and Europe, this is one of the enormous tasks that we do not think will happen in the next 10 years. But if you will think about uh, 50 years perspective, this uh, very well uh, may happen because there is a big drive uh, for it.